Today, Nick Carter is playing basketball at De La Salle High School. A pickup basketball game may seem like a pretty ordinary activity, but it's very special to Nicholas. In the aftermath of Katrina, Nicholas and his family fled the area and spent nine months living in Atlanta. During that time, he really missed his friends in his hometown. He's happy to be back. I missed home. I was homesick. That's why I stayed, grew up. And, uh, it was just not, it was, land was too big for me. I need to come back home. On August 27, 2005, Nick and his family watched as Katrina moved across Florida and into the Gulf of Mexico. We thought that something like that was never going to happen, and it kind of hurt. It was sad. My wife called and told me, um, we evacuating. I said, for what? I said, for another couple of days. She said, no, this time we have to leave for real. As they fled their home, they only had time to take a few things. Something I wasn't able to bring were pictures, um, collectibles, and some clothes and shoes. We got everything ready and we left. I have a binder with birth certificates, shot records, social security cards, passports, um, any type of um, crucial items that you would need to uh, establish identity. I keep copies of everything. So I had all of those um, in binders. When you were trying to get residence or do your FEMA application, all the things you have to do after a disaster, they ask for these papers, and if you don't have them, um, a lot of people are not able to um, proceed without it. Their emergency planning would pay off. Having her checkbook and account information gave Nicholas's mother a way to get money out of her bank account while still in Atlanta. I had no problem getting access to cash because I have my money directly deposited into my checking account. I have ATM cards and I can just go to any um, place and pay the fee if it's not one of the ones on the card. And withdraw. I had no problem getting money. Even though the banks in New Orleans were still underwater, his mother continued to receive her social security payments without interruption. I injured myself a few years back, so I'm on social security disability. And I elected, instead of a check getting lost in the mail, to have it directly deposited into my checking account on a monthly basis. The Federal Reserve Bank worked with local banks to make sure that everyone who received social security or other electronic payments continued to get their regular monthly payments. The ability of having the new system online, no matter where you are, if you don't have anything, we didn't have any more clothes, we didn't have a home, but we still had access to, to establish ourselves again because all of our money was available to us. The credit cards, all that information was on the computer. Nick's parents own this home here on Marywood Court. The house is still uninhabitable, but because they had mortgage and insurance information with them in Atlanta, Nicholas's parents were able to file an insurance claim and receive payment for the damage. Today, Nick and his parents are living in a rented apartment while they try to decide what to do next. It was rough being out here. Nicholas does odd jobs on the weekends to make extra money, but school comes first. He knows he needs an education to have a better future. He works for neighbors doing yard work. Nick gets paid with personal checks and cash, and after his experience with Katrina, he realized the importance of having a bank account. You need credit cards, a little money in the pocket. Just, you, know, you just don't know what's gonna happen, because we never thought that hurricane was gonna hit like that, like it was. Today, Nick is going to open his first bank account. Now his money will be safe, and having a bank account will make it easier for him to save. Now, Nick will be in control of his money, and it will be easier to save for things he needs. In the last year, he's learned a lot about being financially prepared. His friends have shared similar experiences. I believe that Katrina humbled most people, or at least myself, because uh, it allows you to see how easily something could be taken away from you at that amount, you know, it wasn't like a just, it kind of gives you appreciation for what you have. I'm going to be more prepared next hurricane because I know what to bring, I know what to bring my valuables and not just leave them in my room this time, so. Set money on the side in case we ever had to leave something like this, and that's basically what we did. My mom and dad had a credit card, and they brought their checkbooks, so wherever we went, we had money. Nicholas's family was particularly well prepared for an emergency like this one. 
Do you or your family know where your records are? Will you have access to your money? And do you have emergency savings? Would you or your family be prepared for disaster like Katrina? These are questions you need to answer now. Whether you're playing basketball or preparing for a financial emergency, you need to have a game plan. I'm happy to be back in New Orleans. Happy to see my friends again. Happy to be back in school um, to play football for my team again. Might not be the same like it, like it was, but it's close to it. <laughs>